So now it's time to start the first exercise. You should see the assignment in Moodle and what I'm going to show you now is how to go to our server and explain a few more details. I've already shown you a few things but I think um, it would be good to repeat a few things as well. Now, once you get into our server, I won't explain what happened before that because that should be known by now and if not, you can ask the tutors for this. You have these two window panes. Now, you can actually move with your mouse between the two window panes. Another trick would be to press Ctrl B and then the arrow where you need to go. So Ctrl B right, Ctrl B left you can do this. There are a lot more uh, things that you can do in this environment. You could also uh, show the time, for instance, and lots of other nifty things. Um, but that I'll leave for you to wonder and to find out about. Um, what we really want to know is that uh, once you start your assignment, uh, you are expected to start when creating a directory. And this is extremely important because every one of you has a particular directory on our server. The home directory has lots about 250 currently students that have their directory there and these students all have their particular identifier and uh, you should stick to that particular directory. You can go into the lower directory, this is possible, but you can only see your own directory. Um, so please stay in your directories and also please, once you are in your directory, create directories for each assignment. This is really, really important and if every assignment starts with uh, detailing which directory is necessary for which assignments. Now in this case, we start with assignment uh, or exercise two. So we create this particular directory and um, this particular directory is uh, something that we need to move into because if we don't do that, we just have created a directory in our home directory, but we move into this. So once we go into our directory, by the way, pressing tab will usually complete numbers. This is why I tend to immediately type these things quite fast sometimes. So if you now um, press ls, we are now again in empty directory, which is called uh, ex002. Right, now what you first should do is start the programming. And as we've seen, this is done with the nano editor. And to start a nano editor for a file, uh, we basically just say nano and then we type in the file name. For instance, um, for our assignment, we should call it double. So we should call it double.cpp because it's C++ file. And if nano is given a name that, it's, that is not existing yet, then nano will create it. Now it, will see, it will show this as new file here. Now if you make a little bit more space here, um, so that we can show more, um, you should immediately start with uh, creating your header. The header is the first couple of lines where you show uh, your name, you show your ID, and a few other things like the description. Now, I won't do that much here yet, but it's important that you know that your idea should be exactly the idea that you've gotten. Um, in this case, I think it is like this for this particular test user. Um, and a description should also be given. Uh, so that later you'll see what uh, the real goal of this assignment was. Good. The next thing that we'll have to do is include our I.O. stream library. Uh, this means that we can later on uh, use comments such as this one, where we can create a particular output and then we can send strings to this particular output. or for instance also um, at an end line. Now, this is something that we can do, of, of course. We need our, uh, our function main, oops, main, not mine, main, and this is uh, returning an integer. It does not have any arguments the way we're using it now, and it needs to have curly brackets to show us what instructions belong to main. It's very important to use indentation here. And as I said uh, earlier, we will need a two-space indentation. So just press space, space, and then start with your particular comment. Now, in this particular exercise, you will be asked to um, create a certain variable. Let's call it int. Let's call it my variable. This is a very bad name for a variable, but uh, we'll just use this one, and you need to comment this. Um, 
and then you basically can uh, create this variable, change this variable, give it a, a value, and um, put it in here. Also, never forget to return uh, the main function. You could forget this, or you could, it does, it's not so important. However, for every function that, retur that has a, a return variable, you need to return something. So I think it is a good practice to really start right now in practicing this. Good. So once I have this, I can save. And if I want to compile this, I can use the other window pane. Um, so as I said, Control-B, right arrow to go to the next one, for instance, quickly. And I can do G++, uh, oh, no, I can't, because I'm not in the right directory yet, I think. Let's see where I am. Oh, I was in an earlier directory. Let's go in there. So now I'm in the right directory for exercise two. I see that there is my double CPP file, so I can create uh, an executable. Now, if I don't, so we haven't done this yet, but if I don't specify what my executable is named, then you will see that in our directory, an a.out will be created automatically. So this is the default executable. And to execute this, as we've seen already, you just do dot slash, which means in this particular directory, I want to execute this particular ex uh, executable, which is a out, which then um, creates the line hello there, or returns this string to the, um, to the console. Now, this should set you up for completing the exercise later. As I said already, if you uh, press the check command, you will see output uh, checking whether your particular solution is correct or not. And other than that, I wish you all the best of luck with creating your first ex assignment and uh, solving it in a timely and proper manner.